Welcome back to the channel, my freedom love and two-way supporting patriots. Back with a new review for you today on a product I was sent to the channel free of charge to test and review. And that's going to be the SV Bonnie 25 by 75 spotting scope. I had plans for filming this outside and it is extremely windy and extremely hot and humid. So my, my phone was not dealing with the sun well. It kept malfunctioning and turning itself off in order to save itself from frying, I suppose. So I apologize for the lighting. That's why we're inside the little workshop here. So this uh, spotting scope is going to go for $58.99 on eBay. It is a 25 by 75 magnification. And it has a 70 millimeter objective lens. Uh, it's going to give you 64 to 34, 64 to 43 feet, excuse me, at 1,000 yards of uh, your viewing uh, circle, so to speak. It does come with caps on both the uh, front and the eyepiece there. Both of those fit on there pretty loosely. So if you were to accidentally bump them, you can see how easily those come off. You would probably lose them if you're out just carrying it like this. However, it does come with a nice carrying case that fit both the stand and the spotting scope in there um, in a little nylon case. So if you were to keep them in there, you'd be fine holding on to those lenses to protect the lenses. So the body of it itself has like a nice rubberized texture to it. it gives you a lot of grip and it's just kind of a real cool feeling texture. Um, up front, you're going to have your sunshade that telescopes in and out just by simply pushing it, pulling it in and out. You can set it to however uh, far out you need depending on the sun angle and which way you're looking. Our eyepiece up here is going to be where you get your magnification. You go ahead and simply turn it, so 25 there, and you can set it to anywhere in between 50 all the way up to 75. Um, that stays pretty firm. It takes a nice firm twist uh, to go ahead and move it. So it's not something where if you accidentally bump it, it's going to move on you. Uh, in order to get the uh, fine focus for your eyes, it's got this little knob up here where you can twist it and uh, get it to focus to your exact eyesight. I noticed kind of messing around with my uh, family when we were using it. And each one of us did have to go ahead and adjust it. And uh, it makes sense because everyone's eyes are different. So that's a nice feature that it comes with there. Uh, the objective lens up here is going to be uh, multi-coated. And it's an IP65 waterproof and fogproof O-ring sealed. Uh, we've just been basically hot and humid here, so I haven't been able to test the fog proof on that, so I can't confirm or deny that either way. Uh, your eyepiece is angled at 45 degrees there, so it's perfect for setting up on top of like a tabletop. Uh, you can use it on the ground, you know, depending on which angle you're looking at, you know. Like out here on the farm, we have some pretty tall grass, so you might not be able to get over the grass. So it's perfect for using it like a shooting bench. The stand itself, let you look at it here. It's like a nice powder coated finish to it. So I see that holding up really well. Uh, you go ahead and fold out your legs here. And they just kind of fold all the way out or all the way in. And have nice little rubberized feet to help you get grip on the table or whatever surface you're using it on. In order to uh, go ahead and install the scope, all you simply do is take it and you can see it's got threads down there and your screw there. Go ahead and simply mount it on there. Turn that little knob. As you can see I'm just tightening it there. And we'll get it nice and tight on there. And you're basically set up to rock and roll. Now you can see here, I'll angle it a little bit better. It kind of goes back and forth there. And then you can go ahead and set whatever uh, angle you need it at by twisting this handle here and tightening that. So you tighten that down and then the scope's not going anywhere anymore. Now it will still go ahead and pan for you. So you could use it to pan onto different uh, objects or pan at the distance you're looking at. So I had a whole uh, kind of fun, funny skit and everything I was going to do with the spotting scope. I can't do it because of my phone malfunctioning unfortunately. So I'm going to go take it outside and I'm going to go ahead and we're going to try and capture some uh, photos of it on the phone instead of using the actual video camera itself. Hopefully it'll last long enough to get some good photos and now uh, let's go take a look at those. Okay so we'll roll in some of the photos I took as I talk here. 
Uh, overall, I'm extremely impressed with this spotting scope. Uh, the only other one I've ever had was a, a cheap one from Harbor Freight. I don't remember exactly what the cost was on it, and it's back in Denver, so I can't compare the two, unfortunately. But uh, this thing beats the socks off of that other one. Now, as you're seeing in the photos, um, it's, the photos don't do it justice. It is so much clearer in person, and you get such a great photo out of it. You can clearly see all the bullet holes um, in the paper target stand there. And it's just, I would like to kind of apologize to you guys and to uh, SV Vani for not having the best review ever on this. It's not my best review ever, and I'm still trying to find my way out here in Kansas, so to speak. And it just seems like I'm fighting a lot of stuff. You know, today the heat and humidity, the flies and the mosquitoes just tearing me up while I'm outside. Uh, the wind blowing, and it's blowing around that paper target and the gongs. And just making everything so much harder to do out here. And so I apologize for it not being my best review ever. Um, I was not able to do this spotting scope justice in this review. Uh, it is an excellent spotting scope, you guys. Um, I do definitely recommend it. You know, the, the cap lenses could be a little better, a little tighter. Other than that, that's the only really downside I can see to it. So it's an excellent scope, you guys. I apologize for the last time, hopefully, and uh, the link is down in the description box, and I appreciate you guys as always, I appreciate SV Bonnie for sending this out to the channel for review, and uh, thanks for watching you guys, God bless.